Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Matt, I'm just a dude, and if you have a toilet that does this, then you need to watch this video. It's a little bit about my channel. I just film myself doing things around the house, uh, little jobs here and there. Hopefully they help you. Uh, if they do, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. If you all are subscribed, I'd like to say welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Now back to this toilet. It's got a little bit of a wobble in it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tighten it down and recock the bottom before you have to replace the gasket. A little background about what seals this toilet to the ground. Um, here's the newer style. Here's the older style. The older style is just a wax ring. Uh, let's take it out here. But yeah, it's just a piece of wax that you put down in the hole in the ground. You put the toilet on top of it wiggle it around a little bit and tighten it down and it seals. The new style are these polyurethane rings. So it has a polyurethane or a rubber top and these foam plates that you can put on to build it up to the height that you need and then the toilet seals on that. These are pretty new. If your house is older, most likely you have a wax ring underneath there. The reason you want to get this done quick is so you can save whatever seal it has down there so it doesn't start leaking. If it starts leaking, you have to pull the toilet and put a new ring in it and then reseat the toilet. Now what we've done is we've felt all the way around the toilet or looked and there's no water leaking. So therefore, hopefully we can just tighten down the bolts and we'll be good to go. If the toilet is leaking, then the seal is probably lost and you're going to have to pull the toilet put another gasket in and then reseat the toilet. To tighten this toilet down, the first thing we need to do is pull the cap off the nut down there. We're just gonna take this little flathead screwdriver and pop it off. Now that we got the top off there, we're just gonna take a little wrench, snug it down, not too tight. Remember, this is porcelain. If you tighten it down too much, you're gonna break it. Then you'll need a whole new toilet. So we're just gonna snug it down and then do the, do the other side the same way. Now that we've tightened down the toilet, we're gonna to take the caps and slide it back over the top and then just push them on it. Before we caulk the base of the toilet, we're gonna take a little piece of Scotch-Brite pad and just clean this off a little bit. Get all this old gunk out of here. All I did was wet down the pad a little bit and I'm gonna go all around the toilet pretty quick to just clean up any old gunk before we put new caulking in. Now we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. When caulking a toilet, you can caulk around the front and the sides, but leave the back open. That way, if this toilet ever starts leaking, if the seal breaks, the water will leak out in the back and you'll be able to see it before it causes a lot of damage. Now we're gonna caulk around this toilet. I just have a little squeeze tube of kitchen and bath caulking, mold resistant, waterproof, white silicone. I really like these tubes because you feel like you don't waste a whole lot. I cut the tip at a 90 degree straight angle. What this does, if you put the tube in the joint, and kind of split the difference, not down, not all the way up, but right here, probably about a 45. And then you just push it straight through and always have at the, and always have a little bit on the tip of it and you just push the bead all the way around. You should never have to wipe it with your finger. And that's how we tighten down and recock a toilet. If this video helped you, if you could like and subscribe, it would definitely help out the channel. My name is Matt. I'm just a dude. 
If I can't fix it, I'll fix it so no one else can. Thanks for watching.